Hello everyone. Hey everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh, yes it is. Welcome or welcome <gasps> back. Yes, nice to see you. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump, hump day. day. It is hump day. Half the week is over. It is. It is. You were off today. I was off today and it's a beautiful day. It is. It's 80 outside. It is very, very hot. I mean, we're like... It's a little hot. We're dying here. here. It's very, very it's warm. Toasty. We don't have the air conditioner in the window. But guess what I found out? Duster is very good for... It's like a canned air conditioner. Mm -hmm. So, good to know. I ordered a case. <laughs> yeah, people are going to think you relapsed if you order a case of Duster. I know, right? Well, I mean, I, you know, I'm getting hot flashes and stuff. Now yeah. it's good to have them on hand. I can just see the opening of Intervention. The chef. Uh <laughs> the inhalant addict. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, we won't be going down that road. No, I don't think so. No, we won't. So. But we have a fun episode tonight. We do. Oh, yes. We traveled all the way to El, El Salvador. Salvador. Oh, yes. The land of friendly people and, and, and beaches. And snacks. They have snacks, too. And we just happened to get... A box of them. Whoa. A package of El Salvador snacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I know. I'm excited. I like these. It's our international taste testing. Mm -hmm. What, part three? Three. I think we're on our third see, country. We did Japanese Kit Kats. Yes. And then we got some Turkish treats, which were... That's right. Okay. That's right. They were okay. That's right. And now we're going to El Salvador. And now we're going to El Salvador. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. But first, of course, since this is a visit to El Salvador, I just happen to have some interesting facts about the country. Oh, you do? I do. I do. So if you don't know, El Salvador is located in Central America. And interestingly enough, it is the smallest country in all of Central America. Hmm. About 21,000 square kilometers. And that's about the size of Wales. Hmm. Give you an idea of, of size. Uh, its official language is Spanish. Mm -hmm. But interestingly enough, do you know what the national currency is there? No. You don't? Mm -mm. It's the U.S. dollar. Wow. Well, that's, that's I, good to know. I don't, damn, you seem real excited about that. I, I totally, I was very surprised. I, I'm just thinking of exchange rates. We can go to El Salvador and we don't have to go to, and we don't, and we don't I, have to exchange know, money. It just, it, I don't know. It totally surprised me. I don't know why not. Mm -hmm. um, they became independent from Spain in 1821. And you know what? I have some more information. But you know what? We'll do it a little later. Okay. Maybe, like, we'll sprinkle it throughout our tasting. Yeah. We'll take... Because the star of the show today are the snacks. We'll take some snack breaks periodically. Do. Yeah. Do okay. you want to show them what it looks like? Sure. So here is our box of treats. There is salty, there is savory, from what I can see on the top here. Salty, savory, sweet. Ooh. Ooh. So where do I begin? I don't know. Well, why don't we show... We can't eat all of that. Well, Remember what happened last time when we were in Hungary? We could try all of that. We don't have to eat all of that. Oh, wait. We weren't in Hungary. Yeah. Turkey. We turkey. were in Turkey. Remember well, what happened when we were in Turkey? We got sick. Well, hand me something. Okay. So well, why don't we... We'll show it. Open it, taste it. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with this. Okay. There. This is what we're trying first. Can you pronounce it? Uh, Tocinto? Tocintos. By, it's Diana brand. Okay. Well, let's give it a whirl. Oh, you guys, there's so many cool things in here. <laughs> kind of like a cheese puff. It is. Mmm. Ooh, I like them. A good cheese puff. It's a, it's a, this, this is a good cheese puff. Mm-hmm. Very cool. I approve. All right. Then we have bur here. Burbuja? Burbuja. I'm guessing on the J being an H sound. This looks like something sweet. It's cereal. It's corn cereal. Oh, Puffed okay. corn cereal. Okay. My, my Spanish is not all that it could be, but it's well, not too bad. Well, mine isn't either. It's not. They're pink. They're pink. And they taste like cereal. Mmm. Well, they're good. I could snack on the... Um. What am I getting from? In the memory of what? Fruit Loops? Yeah, something like that. 
Mmm, they are good. Birdie though. pebbles, maybe. Maybe something like that. Like when you mash them all together when you're chewing them, not individual pebbles. And this is their version of nacho tortilla chips. All right. Cool. Let's put that one aside. Let's see. Let's see what else. We and add. then their What's version working? of cheese puffs. Mm -hmm. And then we have. Oh, check this out. Mais Gino Picante. Picante. I'm gonna think that's made out of corn. Mais, you call it corn. I'm thinking that's some type of corn snack. It's a very small corn snack. It's little, it says Picante. It like disappears in your mouth. Mm, it's good. It's gone. But it's, it, it, I, like, there's nothing to swallow. No, it like, <laughs> it's gone. Interesting. It's disappeared like a sublingual, just like. Wow. And that's it. There's nothing to swallow. No, it just like disintegrates in your mouth. And it doesn't really taste like a whole lot. And we have Diana brand El, El Brotos. Uh, I have no idea. No El idea. El Brotos. These oh, are look at what we got. Like maize con sabor y caramel. Caramel corn? Oh. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Kind of look like Boston baked beans, but maybe it's, like giant. Um, golden? No, not golden grams. Corn pops. Corn, corn pops. pops. Corn pops. They look different, but they taste almost identical. But they're. Mm -hmm. It's like cereal in a bag. Yeah, there's a cup. This is the second one that's like cereal in a bag. Mmm, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Check out. So we got our little, um, they got a little card with it. That's the card that comes with it and has a scanner there that you can check out all their other products. And look, look what came with it. A little bracelet. A little bracelet! Oh, that's cute. Yo, you know how much I love my bracelets. Yes, you do. Oh my gosh, I do. And so I wanted to show you real quick because it's spring here, right? You see the flowers? I'm so excited to show you the first blooms of the season. Oh. Tulips. I know. I looked outside. I was like, "There's, there's more of the garden than there was yesterday." Yeah. And then everything like is like exploding and blooming. Starting, yeah. So I had to put it in. I had to put it in the background today. And these are cute too. I call these bluebells, but I got to find out what the real name of them. They're bulbs, mm -hmm. but I can't think of what the real name is. So, you know, what do we got next? We. What do we have? Palitos. Chile Mon. So I'm guessing it's lime and, and chili flavor. Lime and chili. Okay. All right. See. All right. Well, yeah. right. Here's I wonder if these are for individual sale in Salvador. Yeah, I don't know. These are, I wonder, uh, I think these are like the packages that would come in like a, like a sample box these maybe. These little chow mein doodles. Oh yeah. Oh. Look. Chow mein. Wrong side. Mmm. These are good. These are good. These are good. They're very small. They taste, you know what they taste like? They taste like um, a Frito mm -hmm. corn chip, but yeah. with the um, Dorito seasoning on seasoning it. Seasoning yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, they have a little. There's a little heat in the back. There's a little heat. There's a little heat in the back. Uh, just a little. Actually, bit. that corn pop thing has a little bitterness in the back because the caramel's Ooh. dark. So it's a little. Okay, and this is their version of uh, Cheetos. Go there. We know what those taste like. I'm gonna cleanse my palate. Oh, I'm anxious to try these. I'm gonna try these centavitos. They look like Funyuns, but there's a picture of cheese They're, on it. Yeah, centavitos. Oh, I need something to drink. Clear my palate. Yeah. Okay, they're little O's. Centavitos. You want? Yes. Look how adorable. Yep. They're another one. There's nothing to swallow. They're around. Ooh, I love the taste of it. The taste is good. It tastes it, like it real cheese. Tastes like real cheese. Yeah, it's like a. Mmm. 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 Okay, so far that's my favorite. I like that. Yeah. But speaking of El Salvador, you know, just like in every time we visit somewhere, whether it's a shout out or in one of these tastings, I need to go there. Mm-hmm. 
I know. We have I, to go I, to I, I want to okay. see El Salvador now. Well, we have the currency. Uh, we do. We don't. <laughs> You're right. We, we do, do. We do have the currency. So check it out. A couple more interesting facts here. So, um, okay, now you know my pronunciation is not really great at all. Mm. But you, oh, you're good at it. Cerro El Patal. Yeah, Cerro El Patal is the highest point in the entire country with a height of two thousand seven hundred and thirty meters above sea level. Very cool, huh? Yeah. I'd say so. That's the highest point. Now, um, El Salvador is actually known as the land of volcanoes because it has more than 20 volcanoes just in that country. See, I like volcanoes. I do, too. I, I do, too. Fun. We went to a volcano when I was in St. Lucia. <gasps> How cool. When I was, like, 17. Oh, it smells like eggs. Does it? But you're right, sulfur. you're right there with the earth. Yeah. yeah. Another selling point for El Salvador. Yeah. And, uh... Two is known, two are known to be active now, mm -hmm. you know, out of all of those. And then speaking of a volcano, the Santa Ana volcano stands um, as the highest volcano in the country at 2,381 meters above sea level. Hmm. Pretty cool. And, okay, now, the, Joya de Joya? Joya de... Seren? The Seren. Joya de Seren. I probably got that wrong. Okay. Well, um, this is very, very interesting. So, this is a place that is um, UNESCO. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay. And it's because it is a prehistoric farming community. Okay. That was buried under ash when the Laguna caldera volcano erupted mm. and it looks really cool you can it's one of the major tourist attractions of el Sal salvador you can go there and they have like i don't know what they call it like a landing area where you know hikers come and four by fours come and like you think you have accommodations there yeah but it's like tents and like shacks i think <laughs> i have a picture to show you but mm. i would do it in a heartbeat just to see it. Mm. it i thought that like something like that preserved like that is yeah. so so interesting mm. to me anyway yeah <laughs> i'm always longer i like disaster -y fault lines like i would do a whole san andreas fault tour like people do the appalachian trail yeah i'd walk along the fault line oh. i think it'd be more interesting i, I don't know if they have tours like that i imagine there's something because i'm kind of an maybe we should come up i'm an that. enthusiast for natural disasters i think it's interesting yeah not death or anything but the actual natural disaster itself earthquakes typhoons hurricanes such fun such fun well all right yeah. so let's get back to our snacks these are shelf stable too, because you never know. Speaking of volcanoes, all right, we're going to do this one next, and this is Coco Lonas. Another cereal? I think it's another. I think it's Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs. It smells better than Cocoa Puffs. It does. Some for you. It tastes very different than Cocoa Puffs, but... It tastes, like, not sweet. Right. It's, it's chocolatey, but it's not sweet. But it's not sweet. Yeah, you're right. It's not <coughs> bad. Mm -mm. But I would put sugar on if it was cereal. <gasps> I would, too. Or use, like, vanilla almond milk that's sweetened. Mm -hmm. I'd be super with that. All, All right, right, what else do we... Oh, I've been wanting to try this! Yucca! Yeah. I've never had a yucca snack. I've never had a snack. I love yucca. Yeah, I know. This I is a, so cool. I had a girlfriend in college who was um, from Sierra Leone, and she would make it periodically. Mmm. <gasps> Look at them. They're big. They're chips. They're chips. Like potato chips. Is that the yucca? Yucca. I like them. Think kettle chip. Mm-hmm. They're crunchy. Very, yep, yep, yep. Kettle chippy. Kettle chip. Yeah. Tasty. Oh, yeah. They're tasty. <sighs> right? Mmm. Mmm. And this is like, this is their version of Bugles. Look. I love Bugles. I never and buy And this is pizza flavor. I never buy Bugles. Um, I don't know. 
that had the barbecue one had a little bite to it. All right, these are supposed to be pizza flavored. Good. They make, I think, pizza flavored bugles in, in the U.S. Yeah, they do. I know I've gotten their cheddar chain. ones. They yeah, are. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You know what? They are missing though. Salt. No, you can't put you them can't on your, your fingers. fingers. That they don't fit, unless El Salvadorians have very small fingers. Possible. It's possible, but look, possible. none of them. They don't fit. That's part of the fun of bugles. It is. It's supposed to be. Uh -huh. no. mm. Maybe but for, they're not bad. Maybe for little kids. Well, Woo! It is toast. <laughs> it is toast. Ooh, I got wet on that one. Oh, it'll dry very quickly. Oh, that's okay. The wet is good. Okay. The wetter, the better. <laughs> oh. Moving right along. We're down to the last few here. I don't know about these. Those are peanuts flavored with lime. I've had peanuts. And then I have, and it looks like I have, is this the same? As, okay, so these you are have nuts. peanuts flavored with lime. And these are nas frito, something with lime. Are these more corn? I'm going to try this one. You can try that one. I'll try the peanuts. Okay, that's that one. I think this is another corn nutty one. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And I have yeah, just, these are really hard. I just have straight peanuts. Mm-hmm. Yep. Corn nuts, but... Wow, this one isn't that bad. There wasn't anything in here I really didn't like so far. I'm very surprised. Peanut. It's very limey. Just corn nut. Mmm, mm, I like the peanuts. The peanuts are very good. They're very fresh, limey tasting. I know it's powdered lime, I do. but I like they powdered it well. I like that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Three left. Three, three left. Three left. We got something sweet? Mm-hmm. We do. Mm. We have... Candy Maze! Mm. I can't remember what the other one was. It was some kind of maze, but that's Candy Maze. It looks like so it's in fruit juice. Candy and candy corn? Maze is corn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, candy corn. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Well, it's puffy. And they look like bananas. Now, what do we think uh, here? Fruit Loops? Because a lot of these flavored puff things have been like cereal They smell very... Mmm. Mmm. I like these. Mmm. 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 <laughs> They're like a marshmallow. They taste like the marshmallows out of Lucky Charms, but better. Yeah. It's cereal. I mean, it's not a marshmallow, but it tastes like a marshmallow. It does. Ooh, those walking good. cereal. Just dump milk in it and just walk around and eat it. Okay. These are good. I like these. Oh my goodness. I approve of those. Those are very good. I'm, putting, I'm saying those to the side because I think that one's my favorite. <laughs> These are... They look like sour Did cherry balls. One? Kind of. We have another one here. I got that there. Filling some of it. I'll take this. Yeah, you're still dealing with a tooth issue I'm chewing here. on the right over. <laughs> yeah. What are these, Boston Baked Beans? No. Cereza? Did you show it? They're cherry, but they're not sour cherry. Oh. And they're soft. It's not pulling out my fillings on the right. It's a cherry jelly bean. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Mm, they're very good, though. Yeah. Mm. I like fruity, chewy stuff rather than chocolate. You know? Exhibit A. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. He stopped in the video to make sure I was okay and having a good time. Isn't that considerate? <laughs> that is sweet. And I'm like, yes, look at all the great avarice. We should dump all these in a big bowl and just make snacks. And just make, make a big snack mix out of we'll it. We'll put all the sweet ones together and call it cereal. It's our last one. This is our last one. Our last one. Well, we didn't open, like, you know, we, the cheetah, like the ones that, you know. The nachos, because who hasn't had a burrito? Yeah. You know, these look like corn nuts. I don't, I don't, I can't translate this and I can't guess. 
I couldn't tell at all what it was. You want one? I don't even know if it's savory or sweet. I'm just gonna eat one. What an odd looking snack. Is I think it's a nut with a coating. Mm-hmm, you're right. It's hot. Mine's not hot yet. It's not particularly good. Okay, it's not very hot. It's got like a, a sesame, not a oh. sesame seed, like a pumpkin seed -y after. Well, good, the oh, last thing I made was terrible. Like that. But everything else was great. Yeah, I'm going to put that back. I don't care for that one. So, okay. but, I think that, well, actually, you know what? I like these super soft ones. I'm going to eat all of those. I'm going to leave you with one last little fact about El Salvador because... Of course, I want to visit this place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, check it out. The Metro Central. Metro Centro? Metro Center. Is mm -hmm. what I'm assuming it yeah. is. Okay. Um, is the largest shopping center in all of Central America. Well, wow. Located in San Salvador. That's the capital, right? Yep. And it's built in, it was built in 1970, mm -hmm. which was a very good year. Very good year. You were born. I was born that year. Yeah, yes, I was born in 1970. I want to go there. It looks like you could spend several days there shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know. Um, and I think that's it. I think we covered all of our interesting facts. Tried to give you a nice little, you know... Quick overview. Quick overview of the country of El Salvador, <laughs> including the snacks. Including what y'all think? What do you think your favorite would be? So what was yours? Mine? I don't know. I liked some of the sweet ones. I did too. I'm sticking with... I think with... it was either the pink cereal... No, I think it was the pink cereal was mine. This was mine. That was very good. I'm going with the candy maze. The one that was like... This is it. The one that was like marshmallows. These are my favorite. This is 60 calories a bag, too. That's not awful. These, all of them were very good, though. Um, there were some in the one when we went to uh, Turkey that, mm -hmm. that were just... Not to my taste. New. But I have to say, these were pretty good. So, you know what, El Salvador? You go with your snacks. Two thumbs up. Will yeah. It, will it be in? Definitely. Yeah. I did like that. Mm -hmm. And the packaging was real cute. They make it look like it's in an air... Air... Ship thing. It's really, yeah. really cool. It is cute. So we got this. I got this through Amazon. Um, and the the whole package I think was fifteen dollars. Yeah, that's totally worth it. Not bad, just especially to, have, to make a video out of it. Yeah, and just have the fun of opening it and yeah. trying something different. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. You've had a very international week. Man. I have. He had Japanese food twice. twice. We've taken a trip via a culinary experience through El Salvador. Yep. And it's only Wednesday. And it's only Wednesday. Only Where Wednesday. are we going to go next time? I don't know. I've been thinking Eastern Europe. But then I... Because mm, we, we ventured into part of Asia. Mm -hmm. Central America. Someone said Iceland, though it's a bit hard. I couldn't bit find hard. any snacks from Iceland. I'll look harder, though. Because I think that would be really cool. Or Russia. Or... Yeah, if anybody has any suggestions, feel free. Leave them below. Mm -hmm. And we'll do a little digging, a little hunting. Yeah, so where do you want to go next? Yes, where would you... Where would Free you trip travel? to anywhere you want to go. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, via SSAM. Via us, which means we get some snacks and we talk. Yeah. <laughs> it's more fun than flying anyway. Yes, it is. Safer, too. Much safer, much safer. <laughs> well, shall we end on that high note? Yes, yes! We Good, hope you enjoy... Because it's getting a little... I need that myself. Woo! Hard work uh, on camera. Who knew? Very true. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you for joining us today. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell on your way out so you get alerts when we have new videos and when we go live. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark. On Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark or on Twitter at Smokey Steve A. All of our email and contact info is listed below here as well. Thank you again and I will catch up with you tomorrow for a story time. Oh yeah, story time with Steve is tomorrow already. Story time. I am working from home tomorrow. I will not be on the road. So you'll probably get me sitting in furniture mm -hmm. instead of a car. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the story time's going to be yet. No, you've had a busy week. You'll come. It'll, you'll, something, 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 something will come. Something will come. The yeah. words will come to me. We'll figure mm -hmm. something out. Well, I hope you enjoyed our latest international snack tasting. And uh, we'll be thinking about where we're going to go next. And uh, I'll be sure to have my 
Your bracelet. I'm most excited about this bracelet. Well, if you didn't know, I wear bracelets. I like them. So mm -hmm. this this baby's going on. Look at it. Does it have their color? Is that is that blue and white? Uh, it's purple. Oh, it's purple. Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought that you would think they would do it their colors. One would hope. But you know, I don't know. It says it was made by hand, but who knows? But anyway, mm -hmm. remember everybody. Please stay safe, stay well, but above all else, stay positive. All right. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Bye. Dibs on the